Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel, and uh, I hope you're all well. I would like to share a project today, and just just finished it. Is a kit from Miss Garden Growth One on a Facebook group. I um, yeah, I really enjoy making this kit. It is the um, Smell the Roses, um, that's the name of the kit, and it consists of um, a burlap bag, uh, kind of journal um, concept thing, and also with a burlap uh, little carrier bag. Um, yeah, like I said, this. I really enjoy making it and um, there's so much to it and um, so I would like to share it with you and um, I would like to share the bag first because this is the bag I hope you can see it it's very hard <laughs> it's got this is the front and you get this um, gorgeous uh, fabric print um, with it it's called the Rose Garden. So what I did, I just um, back it up with a bit of felt, sew on it, uh, on the edges, and then stuck it on the back. And then I used this vintage um, tablecloth cloth, uh, edge, uh, crochet edge, uh, sorry, let's start again. Crocheted um, a, a lace edge from a vintage tablecloth. I bought it without the tablecloth, it's already been um, cut out. Let me show you if I've got any left. Um, yes. This is what I have left. So that is what I use. So I gathered it all uh, uh, on the edges under this um, image all around. And then I use this lovely, lovely um, pink um, gathered lace on top, and this time on the edge of the print. And um, I thought it didn't need much really. Um, um, underneath here, I use one of the. Um, burlap uh, trim that we took off the original spine of the um, journal um, and we will replace with something else so I thought instead of wasting it I use it to go under there for a bit of well, a bit of uh, interest isn't it and then I go over it with this lovely lovely rosette uh, trim I, it's my one of my favorites that and um, and then I thought it needed something, something dangly. So I made this uh, tassel with all sorts in there. You can see, um, tied it up, put it there. And then this gorgeous, gorgeous um, burlap uh, flower came with the kit. So I put it on top and then I also added another lovely, lovely rosette uh, flower there. So that is the front and then just to finish off, I used one of these lovely old vintage a delicate lace. It's something I got uh, I got left from something or somewhere. <laughs> um, I just kind of do a fussy bow and glue under this butterfly, this 3D butterfly that comes uh, with the kit. And I um, finally I wrap around uh, the handle with this um, crochet uh, trim just to, to give it a, a finished look so it's really nice so that is the uh, front oh I added a, a lovely flower there as well we each <laughs> couldn't see sorry I added that at the corner just to you know kind of balance it off from each corner so the bag similar to the front, this time a double. I forgot. I need to um, 
I will do that. Um, just, just a little bit, just so that um, so it doesn't show like that. So it comes down nicely. A little bit here as well. Don't need much. It's just just to um, so that it comes down lovely, flow nicely. So again, sorry about that. So I gathered on the edge here and it do another layer so it's double layer and I just love 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 the um, the flow you will s it's difficult to show you here because of the, the overhead um, camera um, you will see it when I take a photo okay or probably you've seen it before this video because um, I'm doing it back to front aren't I um, yeah so I, I so this is the image again that comes with the kit. It just say today I will take the time to stop and smell the roses. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I backed it with the belt again, suck it on, and then just um, decorate around it using this lovely trim again. And again, you can see I've got a little bit more of that uh, burlap under there, and over it is what is remaining of this beautiful trim all from the kit and then over at the top here I added this gorgeous lace gutted lace again and that needs to be glue on so that go there yep so I cut out a bit of this applique from a lace trim and then some wedding pearls there, oh, well, pearls from some wedding applique I just stuck on, I can see another butterfly, same here, the handle, I rub um, some crochet trim, and then I tie this bottle with this lovely, lovely dry rose buds, um, comes with the kit and it's got the uh, a tower an Eiffel Tower inside so basically I just tied a, a tie knot on this um, around this neck of the bottle and dangle it here so this can be detached obviously it's detachable for you know if you wanted to have I wanted to use it for another project so that's good so that is my bag so I'm sorry it's difficult to see here isn't it but um, yeah like I said I will show it you will see it in the photo when I take it and then now the journal it is a huge journal love it that's my bag you can see here now <laughs> right that's there right where do we start that is the front. I think I need to uh, move something. A bit crowded. Oh, it's this way. So that is the front of my um, burlap back journal. I need to uh, redo this class a bit, I think. The magnet don't seems to be holding it. I'm right. I use my own images for this uh, journal. Um, well, most of my, the images anyway on the pages. So you can see I use this beautiful large flower and then this beautiful trim under there. It is just beautiful. Um, how it turned out so I'm really pleased with it and this it says vintage chic that comes with the kit 
and um, I'm going to put this trim on the edge of this as well. So I'm really pleased how it turns out. So that is my front cover. And then here, I just want to see if I'm in frame. This is, these images uh, are from Artie Mays. Um, I think they are the, is it the Victorian beauties? something like that and i just love them in this um, vintage uh, kind of color like sepia but not quite it is just just lovely so i decorated it all with this lovely crochet trim first of all it's this one and then i and then i put another trim over the edge of it I did one of these flowers. I thought the color is quite shabby, quite nice. So, more here. And then I got to another flower there as well. And I got dangly trim. Gotta have dangly. <laughs> so that is the first page. It's a lot to a lot to go through, it's just just a quick uh, flip through to show you and in the pocket because these are burlap bag you can see the burlap bag you know um so we we attach the spine with a lovely uh, lace here it's they it's been replaced to the um you know like i said previously from this one which was sent originally sorry we were replaced with this one because the burlap trim was a bit too delicate it might break when we open the pages so we replace it with this gorgeous one instead um yes so this tags um are in the from the kit so basically one side is being covered in this lovely fabric print and the back is is cardstock um i, so I did it sim very simple because you can't overload it otherwise you you just won't be able to close your pages so i just kind of did it without uh, uh, too much dimension so folded this trim over to to, to kind of form a attack and this gorgeous white crochet lace uh, is from the kit. Um, I just thought it's perfect for the pocket. And then I added this uh, 3D butterfly and this, this word inspire. So that's the tag, uh, pocket tag. And then I made another tag to go in the pocket. And this is my own image, no. This, this is from the kit, this image. So I did it again very quickly. I backed it with cardstock, sewed it on, and then just added some trim around, you can see. Not too much dimension, like I said again. I made this flower myself, which is this. I just added the blink in there, so yeah, so that goes in the pocket. See, you can see if it is too dimensional, you're going to have trouble um, putting it in the pocket and also putting it into this pocket. So that is that. Oh, there's another tag. This is a cardstock tag. What I did, I added this, uh, this clam with the kit. Uh, it's something like that but a narrower, you can say it's narrower. So I basically form a tap with with them for this tag. Okay, so that goes in there as well. I'll go, rather go to the back. And this page, I love this. I love this lady. So I kind of follow the, the, the color theme really. So I added some beautiful roses on there. Some some of the um, 
this kind of uh, burgundy red to go with the lady and on here um, also I forgot the base of all these pages have got a, f a fabric uh, printed fabric I can see a bit pipping out here uh, are picking out here um, it's all come with the kit as well so it, it is an amazing kit so I, I kind of I put all this fabric that is cut out to the shape of the, the, the bag put it on the base and then I built up on top of it you can see all these gorgeous trims and um, here I've got beautiful I just pin it on with a bulb pin and it's lovely lovely um, rose um, charm so, and then I use a bit of this to, to give it the colour and this is um, again this is um, the edge of an, a vintage um, tablecloth which I cut up and just put it around the edge. It's really nice and soft, I like that. So that is my, um, I think that is from, uh, from um, any store. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I added it there. And then the tag for on this page, again, very, very plain and no, not not too much dimension. I use the same wide tr uh, crochet trim again. Just added a little bit of this um, tassel over it, and then this one is a, a trim that I snipped up into half to um, so that it's not so wide, and I put it around the tag. As you can see, it's printed on the back, and the front is fabric print. I did a bit of this bow and then I use one of these um, Chinese buttons which I had tea, ta tea dye or coffee dye a while back and it formed a nice nice tap. I use the butterfly again, added a bit of this applique there just to bring out that colour. And this is the rose. This is the remainder of um, <laughs> Of that, I believe some it's different color, something like that 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 trim, but in this color, and it kind of <laughs> I realize it's like a basket, so I kind of just put it there, so it looks like the rose is in the basket. So I really like that. Again, it's backed up at the back, the cast off, so sliding perfectly. Again, another one of these cast off tag. And I, again, I use this fabric um, um, that was sent uh, with the kit to use as a tap. Okay, so that goes in again. This is my second pocket. I just love how it kind of trifold here. I just love it. And these, aren't they gorgeous, these images? It's all from, yes, yeah, from the same... Uh, Download from Ati Maze. So this one is more in a vintage um, color theme because it goes with the uh, image. So not too co much color. I love this kind of look. I added some um, a click um, blink button. So that was quite nice. I use this rosette uh, trim as well along there. This um, wedding applique, wedding appliques again. And this this is a lovely, lovely um, lace. It's, it's more like a fabric, and then I just snipped it out up. There you go. You can snip up the flowers in big pieces or individually. I really like that. So this is another tag pocket. A pocket tag, should I say? I used I used Chinese button again, which is the other half of the other one. So you can see that got stuck at the the back there. So unfortunately, <laughs> I ripped it a bit. 
Um, yeah, look at this beautiful rose print. This is an old vintage, um, what is it? Like a tree cloth. I, I love the flowers and all these, 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 these bits here. So I cut out a bit of it in the corner and added it to the tag. And um, I thought this, it looked out, uh, it'll come out quite nice. Um, there we go. There's another bit of um, the pocket I use out of this, this um, edge, tablecloth edge. I love it because it's got a bit of dangle as well. And then I put a little bit of this lace on top. And then another bit of um, vintage uh, crochet lace as well. I love this fray bit. I left it because I thought this, it looked quite shabby chic, which is the edge of it. Um, yeah, so. And then this rosette set trim. That's my uh, pocket tag. And the tag itself... Um, again, I use the rose image that comes with the kit. Packed it on uh, cardstock. And then I just, again, added, uh, folded over this double row rosette. Rosette, just double, yeah, folded over a bit of this trim. And I thought that was quite nice. Not dimensional. Again, as I said, it would uh, not close It'd be too thick if you put too much dimension. So this one here, again, it's very similar. I love that vintage look. And you can see the rose set um, double row trim I added to the edges all around. So it looks really nice. It framed the picture. Um, Yep, so I've got some wedding applique there, which has been uh, coffee dye or tea dye, I can't remember. A bit more here. I've got the, an, an, a nice old vintage um, um, tassel there as well. I forgot to say there's a tassel on this side as well. Every page has got some tassel. So, this tag. Okay, that tag is share with this one here so I've added this lovely lovely um dimensional flowers which got some pearls on top so that is that page so you float fold it over and then we've got this side again I just love it <laughs> And she is, actually she is holding a rose. It's like she is really smelling the roses. I've got the word love there. These are all pre-done for in the kit. So, you know, Annie has done a lot of work for us. And this burlap rose, I just love it. It comes with the kit. So I added it there because she's holding a rose. So I thought I'd add a rose there bit of wedding applique and I've got this lovely trim at the edge as well and another one of these I love that I got no more and I can't find any more so um, at the bottom here I got a bit of this <coughs> excuse me lace trim that has already been seen that is from the other page and on here it goes on and on, doesn't it? <laughs> um, there, it's got roses in the front, and I put sweet on there. Bit of rose trim at the bottom, some trims here, and this is a um, uh, applique. I think it's a long piece of, uh, it's just like a, more in a trim. I just snipped it. Um, yeah, and I think I tea dyed that as well. It's been done a while back, so I just uh, took the bag out, the things that have been tea dyed or coffee dye, and I just away with it, you know, so it's quite handy, you know, that um, you pre do something. 
So at the bottom here, I've got this lovely, lovely fussy uh, tassel. And I, after done that, I added this rosette on top. So it's quite nice. It brings out that bit of pinks on there. And, and there is a tag for this one. And oh, I love this one. Look at this. So what I did with this, you can see it's a cardstock at the back and it's printed fabric in front, all been sewed on when it comes. Um, yeah, so I used the same doily, um, sorry, um, tree cloth um, and cut out the corner and use it as a pocket. And then a bit more of this um, gorgeous trim, added this one here as a tab and then I cut up some little rosette from the um, rosette trims just to add a bit here and then the tag itself then you can see what I use with those um, what you call it the uh, borders uh, roses same again, back up with um, cardstock, this beautiful lady, and then I use the same applique trim on the corner here, and added a small flower there. It's going to be beautiful, so that it goes in the pocket, so I really like that, so that goes in there. I, I I I wanted to do a tutorial, but it's just gonna take too long, as you can imagine, to do a tutorial for something like that. It's just gonna go on, um, you know, <laughs> forever, and you'll be bored to death. But I do I have planned to make tutorial next year, um, you know, uh, definitely. And this is another page that I really love. You can see this image. I just, I, I'm not a dark blue person, but I just love this like kind of French navy blue image. Um, yeah, I just love this. It's, it's gorgeous. So I didn't cover her too much, so I used some wedding applique on the corners and there. And then I found this lace that I bought and it goes perfectly and I was over the moon. So I could use that, come down here like a skirt, you can see it, you know, from the image. Um, yeah, I, I really, really uh, love this. And then I also have this bit of, uh, sem you know, in a similar color uh, trim that I put it down on the edge. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I just love this. And at the back, at the bottom, I use this trim. So it's dangly there. And then I put this on. So yeah, that is really um, my favorite, that. Wow, <laughs> there we are. So this one here, have we seen this one? No, we haven't. So that is not the last. This is the second long, uh, last one. <laughs> um, it's, it's looking lovely. I just love this, this kind of uh, um, vintage kind of images look. This was lovely. Gonna cut up the uh, flowers on the trim no it's actually this lot here we go it's like that so I'll just kind of follow the flowers and cut out the applique bit and then put it on the edge and then add it on top this uh, wedding applique there a bit more quilted applique and this is one of my favorite flowers so I put it at the corner. You can see there's more of this lace again at the bottom. So this one has got a tag. 
There are five pockets all together. That's why uh, there is only uh, five tags. Um, yeah, so five pockets, five bags, ten, ten pages. So this one here is beautiful. <laughs> so I use these along the edge and I added a doily. I use some of these to um, fold over and then form a tab. In the back here, something is like leftover of this trim but in a different color. So the pocket, I use my table cloth edge again to make the pocket. And this time I use this one in cream to go over the end. So I use this beautiful blue trim to go with the background. Added a, added a bit of uh, eyelet trim, cotton trim in cream, and then some more of these bow. And I added this lovely, lovely rhinestone, um, gemstone thingy there. So this is the image of the tag. So I just added this on top as the top and then go on around the edge with this beautiful trim here. And then added more of these roses trim on top. So that is nice. So same again, another cardstock tag. So that is that. So the last page, definitely, I'm going to close this. Oh no, throw this over here. Yep. So this is the last, the bag. There we go. This is a lovely lady there holding some flowers. And there's roses on her hat. So again, lots of lovely trims all around. I use this is I love this this um, this trim, so I use that to at uh, the bottom as a bit of dangling, and at the back here it says vintage. So um, yeah, this is the um, Chinese buttons I use for the corner. That works out really nice, isn't it? <laughs> so um, what else have I got? Yeah, and then I added this beautiful. Rose, um, this art. Oh, it's not a rose set, is it? Anyway, it's one of these lovely flowers that I have tea dye, coffee dye, can't remember which, on the bottom. Another bit of flowers there. So that is the bag. And on the spine, I just do it very simple. Um, I uh, stuck a, a row of these rose, uh, roses. Uh, trim there and um, yeah so that is this mine and then this came with the kit all I did with this pin is these leaves came off as Annie has said because you only use hot glue so what I did I use um, glossy accent okay Glossy, glossy accent that uh, accent that was left in a bottle quite old and it became it wasn't fluid enough so I just scoop out thick <laughs> and I'll show you what <laughs> absolutely perfect so don't throw away your your um, your old uh, glossy accent so it become quite thick and sticky so you get a bit of a get a, a, a pookie two or something scoop a bit out and put it on and that glue anything especially metal you know uh, beautifully so that's what i did so i did that and left it overnight okay so that secure it properly 
hot glue will come out, will come off because hot glue is, uh, in some in some cases, uh, is not permanent. I replace the, the the rose inside of this dome with um, one of Esme's um, roses, and um, it comes in a bouquet like that. Um, I, I prefer this one, so I put it there. Again, on the edge, I use glossy accent. That what I just show you, right? And just press it down. If you've got anything, rubber band, just tie it around and the next day it'll be all secure. Okay, so that is what I have um, on here. Oh, there's a bit of, there's something I have secure. Oh, it's that one, and there's another piece. Or maybe it's just that, yeah, I can't remember. So, I secured these. I so you know some I was wondering what to use would do with this um this border trims um yes it's quite a ch I only found this when I finished my project that's typical me I don't I look through everything then I thought right it's too late now to use these as um belly bands or pocket you know like across here or there as belly bands and then you can tuck in your 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 envelopes or your your tags. So I um, double up two pieces, sew them together. I use it as a band to as a to close this. Okay, it will close. It's just that yeah, it's very thick this book. So and I added the end one of these gorgeous burlap flowers uh, from the kit. Okay, so that. Is my closure using these bands? Okay, these border bands. So, um, so that is my burlap back journal, and then it comes with two envelope, <laughs> and I could tuck into the pocket, I suppose, but I do these. Um, I left them out separately, so. So you guys, I was, that's what I was looking for. You see again, this leaves um, was attached to this rose with the glossy essence, okay? Leave it overnight. So, look at the time. I've got to go to work today. <laughs> um, so I decorated this two envelope. And there's more tags in here. I just... Put them in here. So what I did, I just simply put some trims on there, and then added a bit of this. I, I love my, I love this this tree cloth of mine. <laughs> um, yeah, cut a bit out so it looks chubby chic, and added a piece. I have used a piece just to as an embellishment, and this fray really really nicely as well. So don't cut it if you can yeah don't cut away that white border because it has got a white border done I would fray it it frays beautifully and it gives you that beautiful beautiful shabby look okay so that is what I did with this one as an embellishment across there added a heart and this rose this is the original rose that came inside the dome okay here I took that out and I replaced it with the other one and I put this one on here instead. So, oh, and these lovely flowers. I put it on top so it's two dimension. And this second one, very simply again, I added one of these bows and then a bit of rose set on top. Hold on a sec, oh, my door's ringing. Sorry about that, that was my post, post lady. Um, yeah. And look at this inside, isn't that gorgeous? Stop and smell the roses. <laughs> so, yep, so I just simply altered that. And this came with the, oh, look at that. I didn't uh, add anything there, because it's just, this could be used for some other journal, you know, uh, some someday. Yeah, vintage. That was quite, 
that's lovely so I'll put that in there for now so what I did simply just put a trim around there added this I've added two butterflies so it's two dimension bit of rosette and this is a from yeah this was from the kit as well we just printed out I just firstly cut it scrunch it up to give it that shabby look um, yeah and then added more of this trim over so that is the envelope <coughs> excuse me and um, so that is everything and um, I hope you like it <laughs> and um, I must say yes uh, I enjoy making that and um, it just a lot of work is in there <laughs> uh, but it's all worth it really enjoy it and uh, I hope that you will um, come back and um, see more of my project after the new year I will be doing um, a giveaway challenge for my um, nearly 500 subbies uh, well challenge and then I'll be doing a lot of uh, tutorials hopefully so that is my plan so thank you everyone for watching and uh, I hope you like my um, project <laughs> thank you now bye bye bye